Hey everybody, and welcome to a very special Module MCX Spear Devlog. This week, we are going over the preliminary version of the Vortex XM157 fire control optic. So, what is this thing? Uh, well, at its core, it is a 1 to 8x LPVO uh, with an MRAD reticle. Uh, I'm not going to go over subtensions in this video. It's an interesting topic, but you should learn, uh, learn those on your own. Uh, and additionally, this thing kind of makes them redundant uh, because this has a uh, laser designator, uh, range finder, ballistic calculator, auto zeroing computer uh, slapped onto the top of it. So let's go over uh, the initial functions that uh, we've got working so far and discuss some for the future. So uh, looking down the site, we can see there is an illuminated uh, approximately 2 MOA reticle. Um, already talking about future features, I'd like that to be adjustable from 2 to 8 MOA uh, along with changing reticle and text color. As we bump this up to 2x, you can see that uh, that dot reticle has changed to a illuminated square uh, and we can see there's a compass built in as well. Um, so right now we're facing Northeast, uh, east, southeast, you know how a compass works. But zooming into 8x, uh, there we can see the full uh, MRAD reticle uh, and all of its subtensions. Uh, but we don't really need those because when we're looking at a target, we can press this single button and it will generate the perfect compensated hold for us, along with popping up a helpful rangefinder telling us how far away that target is. So uh, this technically accounts for uh, height over bore. So if we take a, a, a look at a very close range target, like these dueling trees, take a shot with our actual reticle, we can see that we miss. But if we adjust for our digital hold, boom, we've got impact. Bam, bam, bam. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out on our target here. 25 meters away is child's play. But let's go ahead and stretch our legs here. All right, looks like this cutout is about 230 meters away. Let's go ahead, put our hold right on that hat, and pull the trigger. First shot. We've got some other targets set up here. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, it is a little bit cumbersome to try and, uh, you know, just mash a button while your, your gun's swaying with one hand. Uh, so I'm in the process of modeling a pressure pad uh, and we'll get pressure pad support. So you can hold on to the handguard, steady your aim, just press a touch pad or face button and it will auto zero for you. So let's try this 300 meter shot. Bam, like butter. We've got one way out there, uh, but if I, whoopsie, unintentionally uh, zero to the sky here, that's, uh, that's obviously like infinity away, so it will revert to our pre-zero reticle. Additionally, to re-zero to your, um, or reset to your pre-zero, you can just kick it to one X and zoom back in. Uh, and it'll uh, go back to that, that square pre-zero reticle. So it looks like this guy is about 545 meters away. We've got our hold. Let's focus on the fundamentals. Bam. No problem. So how does this work? Uh, basically, uh, as soon as you uh, load up a, a round and have it chambered, um, it does the calculation uh, over distance to generate that hold. So this is accurate for any round on any firearm. I've got a uh, particularly egregious example here. Let's go ahead and attach this and see what it's capable of. Now, uh, while this does tell you what your holds are, 
Um, already we can see the, the distant or the, the drop off difference between 762 and 22 LR. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's zoom in here about 308 meters. Let's see if this thing is even. Oh, I think I, I think I hit him. It's a bit hard to tell. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Got it. <laughs> the uh, mechanical accuracy of the gun uh, does affect your accuracy. So while this is technically perfectly accurate, um, you know, the shorter the barrel, the slower the round, uh, the less accurate the actual firearm is. So in combination uh, with, the, with the right firearm, with the right round, uh, this is a designated marksman's dream. More features to come in the future, but that's all for this week. We'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.